Oh no! They say he's got to go. Go Godzilla! And today on the channel, we're taking a look with my dad at the Super 7 Ultimates Godzilla San Diego Comic Con exclusive. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate Edition unboxing and review and today we got a special one we got the San Diego Comic-Con 2023 exclusive Godzilla and but for all your Godzilla needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting over to Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% on all in stock items anything over $79 does ship free and we got to get a deal out there and you can also go dad new new oh. you can also go to the super seven website and you can put in code kyle p to support the channel so there you go the more you know the more you know and dad and those things you. actually work they do I, actually I've tried it. he's tried it and he's done it works. i was amazed yeah <laughs> well dad thank you for coming back to the channel here it's been a little bit since you've been on here yeah, but i thought no better place to start with you than godzilla a guy you know all too much about of course some may say you're the godzilla expert of your street uh, that could be that could that be could i be. think you're the godzilla expert i bet money street. on that I would too. I would. I think you're also the tallest guy in your street. That could be. Too. That could be too. But back in the day, remember that was that one. There was like two neighbors that were taller than you. Yeah. What what a wild street we lived on when my dad at six eight and a half or so. He's the third tallest guy on the street. What is wrong with this picture? Never thought we'd see that. Day. But I could beat them both in basketball. Easily, easily. One on one. You know, and I always say, you know, there you get guys that are really big and they're uncoordinated. But you were very fortunate to be coordinated and big. So that's that's the difference there. That's you think great Kali and you think like I don't know Bill Russell or something. Coordination oh. and no coordination. It helps. Yeah, it, helps. it does help. But we should have challenged him for money on the on the pickup court. We could have done that. It would have been quite quite the time. But Dad, we're here to talk Super Seven Ultimates Godzilla today. First time around the sun for me, wow. and definitely first time around the sun for you with this one here. And this is one of those lines that I've been kind of admiring from mm. afar. As they've just started over there at Super Seven with their Godzilla line. Now, wow. NECA Toys, a, to a company we're very familiar with, going right. back to the old '90s, I think, probably even. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Maybe 2000s. Whatever it was. But we're very familiar with the Godzillas over there. Now they had Godzilla license for a long time. Now Super 7 is making a lot of these Godzilla figures, and they've got the first series out right now. I'm still uh, playing the uh, long game dabbling. I'm trying to decide if I want to jump in on that or not. However, I saw this at San Diego Comic-Con as an announcement, as a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, and there's a lot of reasons I wanted to pick this one up, and that's what we call foreshadowing. <laughs> we'll get to that later on in this very video, but I saw this, I said... This hits me in the old nostalgia feels, and this ah, is very nostalgic in very some big. ways for me. And it is very big, of course. But, Dad, of course, we're also going to do this unboxing like we do all the other ones on the channel. Oh. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes straight off the rails is where it's going to go. But we'll dive in here, and let's talk about it. We'll get to some of those other things in a little bit. But as my dad said, very big packaging, a deluxe Super 7 item. I want to say these are like $84.99, where they're normally $55 or so for an ultimate edition but wow. you get what you pay for this is a big beast a beast i think that's a fair assessment i don't think that. i don't think you'd be too offended us calling him a beast no but right there there's old godzilla and i want to say this is from like uh the comic book art godzilla i want to say like late 80s something like that uh but to me it's from something different but like i said we'll get to that it's foreshadowing foreshadowing but you got godzilla down here the old king of the monsters they say do you agree with that assessment that or king kong yeah it's it's, it's, it's a peckham it's a peckham at the end of the day and i think we talked about one time on the channel we were both Team King Kong, I think, because it was True. the hairy bipedal creatures always went out, and in this household at least, but your household may be different. You might be all about the big reptiles, and to each their own, to each their own. Uh, on the side, some destruction. This side, some destruction. 
on this side, look at that, a bloody eye. The all-seeing eye right there. It almost looks like, uh, what was that eye in Lord the of the Rings? The eye of Sauron? Yeah, I was just going to say, it looks like that eye in uh, Lord of the Rings there. The eye of Sauron there. Christopher Lee. Oh, we miss Christopher Lee. Oh, man, we miss that guy. What a, what a great guy he was. Some may say the best Dracula of all time. You would not say no, that. I would not you say would that, not no. say that. No. Not a hammer guy. No. So when NECA makes the hammer horror figures, you're, you're not in on that. Uh, I, I would have to think <laughs> about that. You'd have you'd come over time. for the review, but you wouldn't yeah. necessarily get your own. See you later. Slip cover box right there going on. I do got a little knife here. Knife safety, knife 101. You got to be careful with those things. But now we got the slip cover off, and look at that. That is a wow. big, beefy boy right there, old Godzilla. We got the extra heads, big window box. The window box is huge on this one because if you ever do run into Godzilla out on the street and you need an autograph, it's going to be perfect. You got a pen, pen here. It's got to be a big window box. He's got a big hand. So wow. tough for him to sign that, but he will, I heard. I heard he's very uh, pleasant if you ask him for an autograph. So shout out to Godzilla. On the side, you get a little window box. I love it. It's just like dripping in blood, too. Yeah, you, know, just, you just don't see that very often. But uh, looking really good here. And then on the back, get a little artwork there. We get a little blurb. I'm going to read this blurb. Let's see what Do it that. says right here. Yeah. After being hit with a poison dart, never good, never what? good. Godzilla is driven into a bloody rage and ravages the west coast of North America. Oh, it hits close to home. Uh, for months, teams from across the globe try and fail at subduing the monster. Issue number one, King of the Monsters, published by Dark Horse Comics in 1995. So I was a little bit off on my ears there. Mm -hmm. But I definitely do remember this one from the comic book stores. About 1995, you were taking me to the comic book stores every Wednesday. Uh -huh. We were going to, what was it, Dragonfire they... Comics, remember? Okay. Shout out to Wolvie. Where do you think Wolvie is these <laughs> have days? have no idea. Yeah, wasn't he had the license plate Wolvie, wasn't it? <laughs> he did. Oh, shout out to Wolvie. He was always there. You knew when that uh, car was in the parking lot that new comics were there. And it was there Wednesday, and oh boy. So I remember the Dark Horse, King of the Monsters. I think Dark Horse around that time had a G.I. Joe comic book. Uh -huh. uh, they had Grendel. They had a lot of weird stuff uh, back in the day, but... Definitely very cool, a comic edition Godzilla right here. So let's... And I'm really glad he didn't ravage Iowa. Oh. He, he stopped in California. He stopped. He... Poor Californians just can't catch a break in so many ways. No, no. So many ways. Well, there it is. Got cool kind of background going on. But once again, a very, very big box on this bad boy. Not messing around as old Godzilla. Not messing around. Plastic prison Godzilla. And now we're going to try to figure this whole thing out. We're going to have to get scissors. <clears throat> we're going to have to get razor blades. Uh, Godzilla, do you ever remember reading any Godzilla books or comics? I'm going to guess no. I can, I can say not. No, yeah. I, I don't think they were around. Uh, Probably not. There's when the that. Movie came out. All right, let's see here. Can we get this big tail out of here? And he's, of course, buckled in. And you know what they always say, Dad? I think you told me this as a little kid. It was one, two, <laughs> buckle my shoe, I believe is what the uh, old saying was. I think that was your kindergarten. Oh, that could have been. You want to bust that out of there? Put you to work here. I'll get this guy out. Hopefully, there we go. Big old twist tie, bam! Off the screen. Oh, see you okay. later. Should just pop out. There we go. And then give it the old hey, see you later. Hey, hey, there it is. Like a frisbee. Like a frisbee. Well, take a look at that tail. What's going on the there? Tail itself is nice and heavy. Is it, it a heavy one? Yeah, it is. Uh oh, got plastic pieces. Bam! See you later. Goodbye. Oh, we got a little person here. I missed that. Gosh, this is <laughs> this is in here tight. There's several of them. Oh my gosh. More than one, isn't it? Hands. There's one little person oh. in here. I, oh, those are I love little people. I love <laughs> little people. You know that. So did Godzilla. Yes, yeah, so did Godzilla. Bite size snack. Shout out to all the little people watching. Uh, Hornswoggle, old Dylan Postel. He's my. He's a good friend of the channel. Shout out to his son Landon. Landon. Shout oh. out to you out there. We're gonna we're gonna head up there to Wisconsin very soon, or at least I am. You're not on the road tour like I am, but uh, I will be uh, heading to Wisconsin. I want to say in October, so we'll see how that goes. Maybe maybe I'll see maybe I'll see Swoggle up there. Maybe I will. Oh, it's Oktoberfest up there. That's true. It's, that's a big deal. Some say it's Oktoberfest every weekend in Wisconsin. That's what I've heard. But I am headed up to Oshawagon. You familiar with Oshawagon? I'm familiar with Lake Wobegon. <laughs> Lake Wobegon. Oshawagon, uh, Wisconsin. I'll be um, headed up to there. See you later. Good people uh, up there. Good people. Shout out to Wisconsin. Shout out to Robin Yount. How about how? Really? Robin, Yount, Robin Yount. Paul Molitor, too. Shout out to Paul Molitor. Some Milwaukee uh, brewer legends out there. All right. Godzilla is out of the package here. And will I be able to connect this? So this is going to be dicey. Sometimes you got to heat these things up. They won't just plug in for you. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, plugs right in for me. How about that? Mm. Shout out to the Super 7 team. How about we give a little shout out to old Kyle at Super 7? Oh, and he always says he's never met a Kyle he didn't like, and I gotta say the same thing. He did a good job on that one. He did. He uh, This was a passion project for old oh. Kyle, so shout out to Kyle out there. 
Uh, good job on this old Very Godzilla. Nice. So we got him together. We're going to put him to the side okay. here. We're going to look at these accessories first here is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. Now, Godzilla comes with two gripping hands, and that's perfect if he needs to get his knife out or his, his guns or something like that. He's got gripping hands for that. But then it gets down to business, and when all else fails, we know how it goes. you got to bust out the fists of fury. you got to do it. If King Kong's here, he's going to be throwing fists with King Kong. Absolutely. So we got two fists. And what would you call that? It's like a dark black wash over the green on this one. It definitely looks... Uh, kind of men menacing and like dingy, kind of like I mean, he just came out of the ocean out mm -hmm. there on the West Coast, is what kind it looks mossy. like. Real kind mossy. of mossy, yeah. There you go. And then he's got kind of the mangled hands right there. He's got the, got these hands. When things really business really picks up, and he really wants to eat some people, this is what he does. And when speaking of people, little people, we get this little guy right here, and he's got glasses on, a white shirt. Blue pants, but uh, very cool. I wouldn't mind to have like a bunch of these. You know, some on little stands, and you can have them kind of around Godzilla hanging out. And then I'm going to store him inside Godzilla's hand, of course, and Godzilla's going to be eating this guy. Uh, there's no other way. This poor guy from the West Coast, he just didn't know what he was getting himself into when he moved out to the West Coast. He probably came from like Michigan or something like that. Could be. Went to the West Coast and said, oh my gosh, what did I get myself into? I didn't know Godzilla was going to attack. I thought things were bad enough where I was. And I don't think his homeowner's insurance will cover that. <laughs> it won't cover I'm it. I'm pretty sure it won't. He, he's out of luck. No. He's out of luck. But now we're going to dive into Godzilla here. And let's see what's going on with these head sculpts. Now, first thing I absolutely love on this Godzilla thing, and this is what won me over, because this is a bit of a repaint of the Series 1 Super 7 Ultimate Godzilla, and that's in kind of a grayish color. It's a more yeah. of your plain yeah, Jane true. regular Godzilla. Well, this has got that green color from the comic <laughs> books. And like I said, foreshadowing. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. But I love the blood on here. I love the blood around the mouth on Godzilla. It just makes it seem that much... Darker, more evil, more more toyetic, maybe. That's the word. But I don't know. He ate another Californian besides <laughs> that guy. He's been eating Californians all day by the looks of things. Because oh I love that they got the blood going down the throat here. Onto kind of the upper throat, upper chest there. Just looking really, really cool. And he's got just blood all over it. It looks like mm -hmm. he's either been eating a lot of people or he sat down at his famous favorite barbecue restaurant. Just <laughs> busted into a thing, a whole rack of ribs or something. But definitely looks really good on this head sculpt. I love the blood against the green. Got the yellow eyes with the red eyes there. Of course, you got the usual kind of snout, the big gnarly teeth on Godzilla. Mm -hmm. Looking good. But the head sculpt I'm going to be using on this one is this one. Wow. Something about Godzilla with his mouth open. It's just got to be. If you're displaying a Godzilla, he's got to have his mouth open right here. And I really like that. You got the big tongue going on, the teeth. Full of blood on the tongue, full of blood on the teeth. Uh, same eye colors, all that. And then you got the scaling and stuff against that green and dark wash. more fierce look. Definitely more fierce, and it's going to look great with that little person. You know, he's getting ready to just bite him in half and crunch him right there. So, all in. I like both these heads. I'm going with this head. Now, the point of difference that I would do, if I do end up pulling the trigger and getting that original one in the, the Series 1, mm -hmm. they both have the same head. So, I could use that head, one, to have a different head. So even though they're different colors and stuff, it makes them as different as possible. You put different hands on them. Bam, there you go. So that's the way I would do it. But now let's dive into this whole Godzilla figure here. And definitely has some weight to it, especially for a Super 7 Ultimate figure. And he's a big one. And you could say he's also a shelf killer with that big tail. He's going to take up some real estate uh, on your shelf. There's no doubt about it. I might have to heat this tail up just a little bit to get it to go just a little farther in. But for the point of the review right here, it's it's in close enough. But it can go in just a little bit farther. But I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push things right here. But I guess let's start with this tail. We got those, uh, I'd say, iconic spikes on Godzilla. I mean, right. we've seen those throughout history with Godzilla. Stegosaurus. He's a composite lizard, really, yes. of, of T-Rex, Stegosaurus. And... Frogs and uh, what else? <laughs> no. But uh, definitely big old uh, spikes on here. Very Godzilla-like. Starting really big at the top, working their way smaller as the tail goes on. And that is a long tail on this guy. And the cool thing is the tail's got articulation in it. You can move it around, side to side, back and forth. Do whatever you want. Choose your own Godzilla tail adventure, really, at the end of the day. How you want his tail to be, well, it's up to you. But definitely cool. And like I keep saying, you got the green color with the black wash all over it. Definitely looks good. Definitely looks very cool. Arm articulation goes all the way around. You do get a bicep cut. You do get single jointed elbows on old Godzilla. Got to line those arms up, I guess, is probably the way to go. But you do get single jointed elbows right there. Hands removable, back forth, side to side. Plenty of articulation there. Waist articulation, very tight and smooth at the same time. Always do love that. 
but you get a little bit of leg action there, a little side to side, a little up and down. Not tons of movement, but as I always say, he isn't Spider-Man. <laughs> you do get the bend at the knees, ankles back and forth, side to side as well. Got those big yellow toed, very, very nicely manicured on those nails there. Looking really, really nice. <clears throat> but definitely a big, big chunky boy right sturdy, here. Yeah. Very sturdy, very cool looking, and really I do prefer mm. this one over the one that came as the standard release in Series 1 because I like the color. And I do like the blood effects and stuff. There's, I'm a sucker for blood on my figures. No doubt about it right there. But definitely a big, big boy. But like I said, a shelf killer. You got to kind of angle this tail around and put other people around it because he will take up a lot of real estate on you if you're not careful. If you're not yeah. careful. So there's old Godzilla there. And I did talk about the NECA Godzillas. And this is Godzilla versus King Kong edition. So we can see kind of the size difference here. This is a NECA product, of course, mm -hmm. against the Super 7. And look, and look at that. That is yeah. quite the difference there in height. Obviously, this one was probably $35, $38 eight years ago, nine years ago. Yeah. As we always say, what is time? And once you figure out what time is, let me know because I'm trying to figure it out still. But definitely some size differences here. And I feel like, to me... Bigger is better with Godzilla. I want my Godzilla as big as possible. Mm -hmm. And this is getting bigger, of course, than the NECA ones here. And there's nothing too bad about these NECA ones. A little bit limited in the design. Uh, but once again, Godzilla, no matter any incarnation, he's not Spider-Man. He's yeah. just not Spider-Man, yeah. no matter how hard he tries. But definitely interesting. But the real reason I really like this one here is I got an old friend. And you haven't seen this old friend in quite some time. So ah. it's going to be a little reunion here for my dad. It's going to be a reunion back in the day. Let's see what he knows about it. Oh. But we've got our old friend, the Aurora Monster Kit Godzilla. Now, Dad, how old were you when you built this? And what year? Do you want to say the year? Uh, I was 11 years old. Ooh. So it was back in the 60s. 1932, back I believe that 60s. was. <laughs> no. <laughs> back in the 60s, Dad putting that one together. Do you remember yeah. where you got it? Like a Ben Franklin's or something like that? You know, it was a, a five and dime, maybe? I lived in a real small store, or a real oh, small city. town with a small store, um, drug store that was multi purpose, had these kind of things. And uh, not a lot of them. You know, you'd go down there every couple of weeks and one would show up on the shelves. Oh, I got to have oh. that. You know, yeah. And, and uh, it wasn't like today where you had collectors, you know, uh, yeah. just standing outside waiting for them to put them on the shelf. You could right? sit there and say, I'm going to save my paper money for yeah. three weeks. I'll come and in I'll ne maybe next week, I'll get or the next week, and it would still be there. So, so. they're really uh, using psycholo psychology because you guys, I don't know if you knew this, but I'm about five classes away from a minor in psychology. Really? Just about five wow. classes. I think five. Wow. It could be four, even. It could be four. Yeah. But I think that goes full circle because Grandpa wouldn't just let you get it right away. He wouldn't just roll over and say, All right, Tom. Um, little, did he call you Tommy? No. No, he didn't? No, that's and, too bad. And, and no one dares do that to this oh, day. Oh, 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 oh. Um, whoa. <laughs> but, uh, uh, no, in those days you had an allowance. Oh, yes. You know, 50 cents a week. Ooh. So you'd save. Yeah. You'd have to, that, so you project how many weeks is going to take me to get this, whatever it was, maybe $4, $5. <laughs> you'd get the time. paper Excel yeah. chart. But before there was computers, you'd get it out yeah. on paper and you'd plan it all out. Your yeah. plan of attack. And you'd get Been a there. windfall oh, on yeah. your birthday at oh, Christmas. Yes. You know, so no. that, that would support you a little bit. So you get so grandpa wouldn't roll over. Now, many years later, you and I out there on the on the mean streets of the Toys R Us's, Ventures, Walmarts, places, Ben Franklin's, KB yeah. Toys, pick your poison, pick your poison. We'd be out there, and a lot of times you'd roll over for me. You'd say, "All right, let's just get it," because I think you just wanted out of there, or you knew that I might just drop to the ground and start banging my head on the floor. I think you said I used to do that back in the day. I think you were two years old then, though. Yeah, That's two, now. two, twenty. It's all the yeah. same, really. <laughs> but I, I, you'd roll over. A lot of times for me and you'd say all right let's get it but i think different times as you said you know this godzilla would sit in the in the ben franklin's for you know two months at a time you'd have time to save up for it where in the 90s the late 80s the 80s you knew okay if we don't pick up this wolverine here today we might not see it again and we might have to go to 50 more stores to eventually find it well i was always an efficiency expert okay. and so you start weighing as you said your yeah. time mm -hmm. space yeah. quantum mechanics Ooh, yeah. and then yeah Let's get it now, because yep. I'll have to come back someday. That's right. You know, just get it. Let's just get it over with, and you know, you'll work it off later or whatever. And it kind of reminds me of that story. We probably told it before, but I'll never forget. We got new sod at our new house back in the day, and you know where this is going right off the bat, probably. Uh, but it was the Marvel Toy Biz first series ever of X Men came out, and I needed those ones so bad. And I remember we saw them at Toys R Us. Like, no, and, and that was the time you said, no, we're not going to get it. And I said, well, what can I do? And it was summertime. Yep. It was summertime, I and that. I wasn't in school, and this was before I was working, so I was probably 11, 12 years old, something like that. And you said, if you 
you pull the crabgrass out of all these, you know, crabgrass and that new sod, I'll give you a penny for every single one you pull. And I sat out there in a hot, like, July. I think it was, like, July or August. I sat out there all day, pulled all these crabgrass, and filled up a huge garbage can full of these things. And then I counted them all. I counted them all, and I knew how much all these cost. I'm like doing the math and sitting there for hours counting all these one by one and a penny a piece. And I remember just sitting in the front yard, you coming home from work, and here you pull up, and I'm immediately right on you. You didn't even get out of there. And I'm like, Dad, Dad, I did it. I got all these. I got enough. Let's get over here. Let's go through. Let's count them. Let's count them. And you're like, you know, I'll take your word for it. Let's go get them. And a little I think I was like, Dad's going to want to count every single one of these. And I sat there for like who knows how many hours counting each one. <laughs> Man, oh man, simpler times. Yeah. I'd do it all again. I'd do it all again yeah. to get that set. That was a, wow. that was a game changer set in the old collector days. But uh, anyways, this Godzilla figure, way back around here, this Godzilla figure reminds me a lot of this mm. one that you painted and did mm. your own thing, and you put blood on his hands, blood on that. So really a forerunner, and I think Super 7, or traditionally not Super 7, but the Dark Horse comic book probably owes you some royalty checks <laughs> for inspiration. I think they might have saw this along the way. But first time I saw this one, and I remember seeing the comic book back in the day, that's immediately what I thought of, because this has been in my life as long as I can remember this Godzilla over here. So just uh, absolutely wild. Now this is a little darker of a green or a little brighter yeah, of a green. That was my one of my first lessons in business because this came in pink plastic. Oh, geez. So obviously there was a deal with Tester's paint. Yep. So, oh, I need a lot of green to cover all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So that that was your first uh, realization that you know <laughs> some someone is is uh, partnering with some other company. So you put your business hat on at a young yeah. age. Oh, yeah. we do that from time to time. You're wearing yours today. It was yeah. smart. Yeah, so I the Aurora that. people said, we've got friends over at Testers. Let's give them a break. Yeah. Let, make it pink. They make it pink. Of, they got a lot of green. nobody was going to leave that as pink. Nobody's no. going to have a pink Godzilla no. in you their collection. You can see some of the buildings. There's a pink tinge. Yeah. So you had to sit there and go through meticulously and paint that bad boy. Yeah. And that was the crazy thing about these Aurora monster kits. And I always talk about these that... I see them a lot at toy shows and things like that. And in my head, I only remember them as my dad painted them that were sitting there. But I'll see a Godzilla all in gray at a toy show. I'm like, that looks weird. They painted it wrong. When it was truly choose your own adventure, <laughs> yeah. paint it however you That's wanted true. to. But I see them at the you know Kane County Toy Show. I see tons of these things. And I'm always like, man, they painted them wrong. Why is it, why is it gray? It's green. It should be green like my dad did. But it is what it well, is. I think if you look on the the model box itself it was some oh. form of green like this it and had it recommendations was, yeah. oh, it, okay, not really sense. but it you looked at the box and said oh okay okay you know. okay because <laughs> the well, movies were in black and white well that's um, true yeah and a lot of people probably didn't realize he was green until many no. years later they just thought he was a black and white right. or gray or something or red all over who right. knows who knows but there it is, a Super 7 Ultimate Godzilla. Definitely something interesting. Something I had to wait in line for in San Diego, oh, wow. which was quite the time. If I can you, imagine. If you love to wait in line, you need to go to San Diego Comic Con. It's some of the best long. line waiting in the country. Oh, the great. weather's beautiful. Uh, it's just long lines. I mean, uh -huh. you could wait like an hour and a half to get in, and then you could get your badge. Then you could wait like four hours to get in, Ooh. and then you could wait in the line once you get in for these different toy companies. Man, I always say it, it from around the world. If you love waiting in lines, man, head to San Diego. Beautiful this time of year. I'm sure it is. There you go. But it was a good time. There was a lot of good exclusives there, and I was happy I got to pick all this stuff up, and we'll see what next year brings. Dad, I think you need to go out to San Diego. A lot of people said, Where, where's your dad? <laughs> I was like, yeah, he's not coming to San Diego for this, but you maybe. Know, I've been out there four or five times. Not to Comic-Con, though. No. Unless you went funny. without me, which would be no. the ultimate uh, knife no. in the back, is what that would have been. No. He's like, yeah, I was going to San Diego Comic-Con back in the day. I just wasn't inviting you. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? But maybe next year. We'll see. If not there, maybe PowerCon. Maybe I can get my dad to come out somewhere. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. The people want to see you. They, they want do. to see you. They want to I talk can't to you. Imagine that. They want to talk to you. They I got they want to pick your brain. They want to pick your brain. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. Well, there it is. Super 7 Ultimate Godzilla. Dad gets the seal of approval from you. Gets the seal of approval from Pretty me. Good. Like what I see here. Going to have to dabble in some of the future ones. That's what I'm looking at. They got a Mecha Godzilla coming out. Might have to dabble in that one. We'll good see job, what... Super 7. There you go. So there it is. Super 7 Ultimate's Godzilla. I don't believe this is available on Entertainment Earth or their website. Correct me if I'm wrong. Check it out. But definitely a cool one. Definitely worthy of a pickup. And uh, that's it. That's all wow. we got here. So don't forget, as I always say, don't forget to like this very video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the old notification bell. Don't forget to leave a comment your thoughts on Godzilla and what color you think Godzilla should be. It's always, it's always an interesting question. Uh, don't forget about the Patreon for much earlier access to videos like this. Dad, this video will probably be on traditional YouTube in a month. 
or something. Oh. This is going to be a long time, oh, so okay. we'll see what happens. But uh, check out the old Patreon for early access, all the kind of stuff, and to support this fair YouTube channel and all the content it does bring. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson, and don't forget social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X. Used to be called Twitter, but oh, now okay. it's called That's the true. X. The X. And then uh, threads and Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And still get his dance moves from time to time over there on TikTok. So for my dad, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.